Uh, you have myself, Brian Lamb, and Asif Masood on the line, and we're going to be joined later by Shrikar Baka and Gokul Nair. We are all part of the um, we're all part of ServiceNow's ITSM Gen AI team, so we work very closely on the Now Assist uh, for ITSM uh, product. And we're excited to share some of the new things that just came out earlier this month as part of the August store release. Um, we will have Shrieker later on the call to do a little bit of a deep dive to share how to configure and set up one of the new August features. And before we get to that, I'm gonna do I'm gonna go through a few quick slides. I promise it'll be fast, so I won't bore you guys. And then do a quick demo for you as well to kind of showcase some of the other features uh, before we hand over the reins to Shrikar. So let's get started. And let me switch the screen. All right, perfect. Um oops. Okay, uh, just a quick safe harbor statement. If we talk about any forward-looking uh, features or products, do be aware that the safe harbor notice applies. Uh, so very quickly, why did we build Now Assist for ITSM? Uh, we've been hearing a lot from all of our customers that in today's world, we are really focused on two things, increasing productivity while also maintaining an exceptional user experience. These two things have become more and more mission criticals for leaders in organizations such as yourselves. And the way we are doing that is by tackling these three most common issues that we see across our customer base. So it really starts with self-service and um, end users not being able to self-service as much or as well as they hope for. Um, the second issue we, we hear a lot from customers is it's actually hard for agents to get up to speed. Um, there's a mental toll of switching tasks. And when you come to a new incident, for example, it takes time and effort to kind of ramp up and understand what the issue is. And the last thing is documenting steps. Again, agents are often working on multiple things concurrently, and they don't often don't have the time or um, the motivation sometimes even to document things in a effective manner to kind of ease the pain down the line, if you will. So now Assist for ITSM is here to help with all those things. And it really tries to create a virtuous loop. So firstly, by streamlining incident resolutions, uh, we do this by helping the agent get up to speed faster by drafting resolution notes more quickly and more effectively. And that leads to the second point of creating self-service content. We also can use Now Assist for ITSM to generate knowledge articles. We use the enriched incident record to generate a better resolution note, which in turn will help us generate a effective knowledge article that can then be published to the wider audience across the organization and increase self-service. We do this by increasing the supply of information to the end user and also making the experience of accessing those resources a better experience. And we'll talk a little bit more about how we do that a little bit later. So just to recap really quickly, you know, we're helping employees uh, self-service faster with better and more accurate answers. We help the agents uh, get tasks done more efficiently. And also we help the leaders and the service platform owners by lowering the total cost of ownership by making the setup and configuration of all of our features much, much easier than in the past. So I'm going to show you a quick demo right now, but before I get into that, I just want to hit on some of the new Now Assist for ITSM features that were just released earlier this month. So the first one is change summarization. Uh, if you are familiar with incident summarization, this is going to be very similar, except it's going to work for a change record. We're really trying to make the decision-making process faster for change and the overall change process faster, uh, helping change managers better understand what the request is, 
the plan to achieve it, what the risks are, and any incidents that could potentially be caused by this change. The next, uh, the second feature we also just released is called chat reply recommendation. And this one is really neat because it allows agents, well, it, it, it allows agents to ask the generative AI model to generate a response for them when they're chatting with either another agent or directly with an end user, really aimed at helping the agent save time to the time it takes to type up a really detailed answer. And one of the great things about this new feature is that you can ask it to elaborate or shorten the response that it's given to the user. Uh, the third is called sidebar chat summarization. This is really trying to uh, help users enrich the incident record um, by including information that may have been communicated elsewhere, such as in a sidebar chat conversation. So if you're a level one agent and you're speaking to a level two agent and you figured out how to resolve an issue, we can now summarize that chat that happened in sidebar and directly import it into the incident record. And then that way, when you create a resolution note, you'll have the appropriate information to create a good resolution note. And then down the line, when you want to create a knowledge article, it has a really nice resolution to work with. The last feature um that we just launched is knowledge article generation from multiple incidents so back in may we launched the knowledge article generation feature and in august we recently enhanced it so that when you're generating a knowledge article now it will automatically search uh the incident record base to see if there are any similar incidents that you can group together and create one knowledge article that touches on how to resolve that group of incidents. Um, a really neat feature that aims at helping you sort of manage the knowledge base and make sure that you you don't have too many articles covering topics that are very, very similar. So a really neat feature. So, okay, uh, I've spoken, I've shown a lot of slides now, so I do wanna switch gears a little bit and show you guys a demo. So give me one second while I, load everything up. All right. Yeah, that's working. Okay, one second. All right. So uh, right now I am in a new Xanadu instance. Xanadu will be coming out uh, GA in a few days now. Um, but if you're part of the early release, early access program, you will have access to Xanadu today. And um, right now I'm logged in as Adam C. And I have a question around um, how to connect my phone to the Office VPN. And instead of going to an agent, I want to self-serve. So I'm in the Employee Service Center right now, and I'm going to type, how do I connect my iPhone to the Office VPN? So this right here at the top is called the Now Assist Genius Result. So um, what this does is it takes your query, and it feeds it into the LM model to understand the context of what you're trying to get to. And it will search the knowledge article base and find the article that most closely matches your query. And instead of just serving the article to you as the number one search result, we'll actually summarize the article for you at the very top. So as an end user, you get to the answer quicker and more directly. Uh, this feature is also available in the virtual agent. So let me show you that right now. <clears throat> How do I connect my iPhone to the Office VPN? So right here, you can see that we have the exact same genius result. 
So a really handy and neat feature that saves uh, an end user a little bit of time when they're trying to self-serve. And another neat self-service feature we have within the virtual agent is the conversational catalog. So let's say Adam needs access to Miro and there's a catalog item for that. So he's gonna say, I need access to Miro. So you can see that the catalog item has been surfaced and what's different about the analysis powered virtual agent is that we can actually complete this entire catalog request directly within the virtual agent. So instead of being bounced to the catalog item on a different web page, I can do everything right here in the virtual agent. So Adam C was selected for the requested for, yes, that is me. Could you please provide the business justification? I need this for team whiteboarding activity. And at the end, when you filled out all the required fields, it will ask you to submit it, or if something is wrong, you can always go back and make changes. So a really good feature here. Um, I'm going to start a new conversation now to show off some other features. And I'm going to show you how the virtual agent can help us resolve an incident. So let's say Adam has an issue with his Zoom. I have an issue with Zoom. And the virtual agent will see if there are any articles or catalog items that might be useful. In this case, I'm going to say nothing is useful. And I'm going to actually add a little bit more detail. I can't add a Zoom meeting to my Outlook calendar events anymore. All right, still can't really get what I want. So Adam is gonna say, I wanna to talk to a live agent. So I'm gonna go side by side now. Over on the left, we're still with Adam. Over on the right, we are a service desk agent called Lakshmi. I'm gonna go ahead and accept this chat. And right here, you can see this card that says chat summarized by now assist. So anytime a service desk agent gets an incoming chat, um, now assist will actually generate a really nice bulleted summary uh, for the agent to review. In this case, the interaction hasn't been that long, but there are instances where, you know, the user has spent quite a lot of time working with the virtual agent, trying to self-solve and is unable to do so. And that's really where the chat summarization comes in handy. It saves the agent a lot of time um, ramping up. So instead of having to scroll through the entire chat history, all they have to do is look at what this little card says generated by our generative AI model. So, okay. Um, now, Lakshmi's all caught up, and she's actually going to use one of the new August features that we just released. So this little card right here, right with Now Assist, this is that chat reply recommendation that I told you guys about earlier. So let's see if that works right now. <clears throat> All right, having some, oh, no, nope, there it goes. Don't close that, oh darn, okay, let's do it again. All right, cool. So as you can see, we've asked uh, analysis for ITSM 
to help the agent generate a response, uh, which is really great. And so definitely saving locks me a little bit of time. And actually, I'm going to ask it to elaborate. Thank you for content and support. Could you please tell me when this problem first started? Can you see how to resolve it? Awesome. This is all great. Uh, these are all great questions that I, as the agent, want to ask. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that and just hit send. Perfect. So switching back over to Adam over here. Uh, the issue started this morning. I've tried restarting my Outlook and my Zoom and also my laptop, but nothing has worked. Great. Thanks for letting me know, Adam. Oops, letting me know. Adam, let me let me create an incident for this before looking at next steps. All right, so I'm going to go full screen over for a lock screen just so we can see what's happening. And uh, let me create that incident. Ooh. Okay, there we go. The instance is a little slow today, but um, we have the incident created. And as you can see, hopefully, by all these notifications at the top, that GenAI has helped us quite a bit. So it's included a summary short description for us. It's also included a description. Uh, as the agent, instead of starting from scratch, you now have something to work with. And instead of typing everything up yourself, you can just go edit things if you see something that's not right, or you can just go ahead and hit uh, OK. So now that the incident is created, uh, Lakshmi is going to say, let me remote into your laptop and try reinstalling both apps. And let's say that. That worked. So please, both have been reinstalled. Please try again. Awesome. The Zoom button is now appearing again in my Outlook events. Great. Uh, OK, so the user is happy. We solved his problem. Now, as Lakshmi, uh, I need to close out this incident, and I'd like to also create a knowledge article for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to ask now assist to summarize this chat. And I'm just going to copy this resolution note, so I don't need to type it myself. And once I have that in the record, I'm going to say resolve. Again, we see this blue, this purple banner, which means now Sys is helping us uh, draft the resolution note. So reinstallation solve, reinstallation solve the issue with the Zoom button not appearing and Adam's Outlook events for calendar integration. Great. Oops, we are going to say solution provided. Hit resolve and perfect. So next step, let's try to create a knowledge article so that in the future, users can self-serve. So we're going to go with the standard knowledge base and the standard article template. And you'll be prompted with, do you want AI to draft this article? Yes, I do. Please save me some time. Awesome. So right here, you can see that Generative AI has drafted the entire article for us. And if you were the knowledge manager, you can come in, take a look, 
see if everything is kosher or if something's amiss, you can make edits. And once you're happy with it, you can save it and publish it for future reference. So both agents and end users can access this information more easily in the future. All right, so I do want to head back towards the incident for a second and show off some other features. Um, we do have this summarize button at the top, which is really handy when, uh, for example, if you have reassigned the incident to a different agent and the different, the other agent comes in, he can click that summarize button and really easily understand a, what the issue is, b, what key actions, either the user or the, or the level one agent has taken. And obviously they wouldn't have a resolution. Otherwise it would have been reassigned. But uh, you can also see if any service level agreements have been breached, as well as if any CIs or impacted services have been affected, which is really neat. All right. Um, I'm also going to change gears a little bit and show you the um, change summarization feature, which is very similar to our incident summarization. So let's go to change. And I'm going to pick one at random. <laughs> and very similar, right at the top, change request summary by now assist. And if you click the summarize button, you'll get a really nice summary of what is happening with this change. So if you are a change manager, for example, and you're trying to review and approve a change, you can get up to speed really easily um, with the ch with the change summarization that comes with now assist. All right, so I've I've talked a lot um, about the different features we have available for now assist. Uh, I do want to hit pause here real quick to answer any questions we may have that are still outstanding, and then we will move over to Shrieker who will dive a little bit deeper into the sidebar integration feature. And uh, he will also be able to show us the activation and configuration of that feature will be really nice. So, um, Asad, do we have any questions that we need to uh, address before moving on? We do, Brian. So Ian Clayton asked a question on having, uh, regarding some guidance on a process. Um, uh, Ian, would you mind coming off mute? We just, uh, we asked you to speak. If you could just phrase your question, I think it would be easier for us to answer this one live. I'll try, yeah. Hi guys, thanks for that. Uh, thanks for fending. It might not be in the scope uh, for this particular session. Um, can you hear me okay, by the way? We, yeah, yes. We yeah, uh, we're heavily into generative AI outside of service now anyway, you know, so we, we build assistance for people, that's just our nature. And we're very keen, we understand that the now assist strategy has to be, um, that you're following a sensible strategy of what we know as containment, like tread carefully. But we're being asked by our customers consistently, I've got this knowledge base, I've got a load of content, uh, what strategy do we need to put in place to try and exploit that? Now, we know that you, you normally have to take any content you wanna, um, uh, run a prompt at you know you want to try and clean that data up and there's fancy ai terms to organize that data better yeah to clean it up so that it sort of matches these prompts that can go in have you got any guidance at the moment on that challenge okay. uh, any recommendations because um or is it up to us i mean we're basically we have ways of going about it, but I thought I'd take this opportunity just to ask. Asa, do you want to chime in on this one? Yeah, so I think let's uh, let's see if we can time box this to five minutes because we have a lot of good content to get through, Ian. But oh, yeah, we could take it offline. Let's... That's okay. You know, uh, basically, we don't need to solve it now. But if there's like, well, yeah, we, you know, we, we might have something. That's fine. Then we can, yeah, we, we can check in with you behind the scenes. Yeah, let's let's check in behind the scenes. But I do. I think it. You know, the beauty of questions here is that everybody gets to benefit from them once answered. So, um, my sentient, from what I heard, was 
is there a, what is the best way to prepare your data as you get ready and start to dive into the Gen AI world? Is that a fair? Yeah, uh, I'll uh, lob in a few uh, Gen AI terms just to help us behind the scenes. So typically we would look at uh, um, how are we um, cleaning up that data? How is it formed or how has it been shaped? Is it supervised learning, which is what I would hope? Or, uh, because if it's supervised, it means we've organized it a certain way. Have we done any fine tuning where we've sort of given the system a clue? So in your example, if someone ever asks for, or someone says, I have a Zoom issue, um, you know, it can respond more accurately and not come back yeah. with those catalog items. So there's that background work. Other clients are asking us, well, why should I bother? Why can't um, the so, Gen AI Ian, the, work the general out? like guidance in, and what's great about analysis for ITSM is that um, we help you fix forward. So the idea that you have to have your data perfect on day one or even close to it is more of a nice to have because as you start to discover new um, new capabilities or as you, as you start to, di to discover gaps in your knowledge base, as Brian demoed, we'll help you address those gaps by generating knowledge articles uh, and even before that, generating the resolution notes. So we help identify those opportunities and we help you take action on them. There's likely some low hanging fruit that you'd want to get to first and foremost, like, you know, before you go out the door, and the best way to do that is to, um, we'll say, run an automation discovery report to understand what type of opportunities out there first and foremost. And then once you get to that point, uh, you can start to assess the content that you have in play. So that it helps you find and triage your high leverage points first. And then as time goes on, we'll help you fix forward. So it's a combination of, of the two. And we find that to be very successful with the customers that we're currently working with. Um, and then, so uh, as a follow-up, Ian, if that didn't answer your question, or if you'd like to continue to expand and brainstorm on, let's, um, I've sent you a, I think, a LinkedIn request. So you can, let's let's go ahead and, and stay connected and, and we'll um, maybe coordinate a meeting for us to discuss in detail. Okay, Brian, uh, why don't you keep us on track? Great. Thanks, Asif. Thanks, Clay. Ian. Um, Shrieker, uh, I'm going to hand it off to you now. Uh, feel yeah, free to sure. start sharing your screen. <clears throat> okay. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Shrieker, and I'm here to present one of the latest features that we just released in August, uh, Sidebar Chat Summarization. I hope you're able to listen to me clearly and, and see my uh, Figma slide that I just have on my screen. Uh, yeah, so So, Thank you. Before we get into the, the, the feature demo, I just want to give a, a background of what is what is this demo about and what is the use case, what is the problem we are trying to solve here. So, so let me introduce uh, our three user personas here. The first one is Joey, who is an, an IT employee. And, and then whenever he has, he has a, in this demo, he has a specific problem to log into one of their applications. And then he tried to use virtual agent, but, but that did not help. And eventually it ended up creating an incident. And then we have David, who is the tier one service agent, who has been assigned for the incident raised by Joey. And, and, and uh, the main goal of David is to kind of close as many tickets as possible in a given day. However, sometimes David gets struck uh, uh, when he's trying to resolve some incidents. And then uh, he, he either escalates the incident or he might just get hurt from his peers or an SME. And here we have Beth, who is an SME and a tier two agent. So Beth main goal is again to close as many issues as possible, but also help out their peers and the tier one agents whenever they are struck on a specific problem. So in, in, in today's demo, uh, or, or in general, what happens, or uh, one of the problems that Beth faces continuously is that uh, whenever she kind of gets pulled into an ongoing conversation between a tier one agent and an employee, she has to go through the entire conversation that has happened until that point to bring her up to speed and then she can provide any possible uh, steps forward. However, this takes a lot of time out of her uh, very tight schedule and kind of hampers her MPTR goals as well as uh, number of tickets to be resolved on a given day. So that's, that's the main problem that Beth faces. And the other side, whenever uh, she provides a guidance and, and, and hopefully if it helps in resolving the incident, 
if if david the person is actually working on the incident does not do a great job at documenting all the resolution steps next time when a similar incident comes up it will be another agent pulling back into the same conversation and asking for the same support so it takes there are two problems here one is how can we save time of beth uh, uh, when when there is an ongoing conversation uh, uh, and the other thing is how can we uh, follow a proper hygiene in documenting all the resolution steps so that uh, we not only solve the current incident but also kind of prevent future incidents uh, uh, whenever uh, 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 tier 1 agent come across it so so that's precisely the problem and and the solution that we are trying to propose here is now assist powered sidebar chat summarization to get agents briefed eliminate repetitive task of data entry for agents and enhance data hygiene in records to accelerate current and future resolution of incidents changes and other tasks so so with that as a background let me let me jump into uh, the instance so let me uh, log in as a david here uh, i'm just using two instances side by side so i'm david i am the tier 1 agent so i'm looking into this particular incident where the problem is the employee is not able to log into signal claims application so basically there is a conversation going on so david said hey can you try clearing your browsing uh, by by clearing the browser cache but joey was not able to do that and then uh, he also suggested joey like hey can you for the steps in the kb article uh, uh, to see if you are able to join uh, log into the application and let's say joey says uh hey uh, i followed all the steps in the knowledge base article but i'm still not able to log in so at this point uh, uh david kind of log uh, uh, ran out of his uh, uh, ideas and he wants to pull in an sme so let's try and uh, pull in sme here so i'll just add that that angelin so again uh, just to give uh, some context here i'm using uh, the sidebar chat even for the employee but 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 in in real world or a practical scenario joey might be using his teams or slack or any other chat application that has integration with service nows or or he might be chatting from the portal so this is just for the demo purposes so so added beth into the chat and and i will say uh hey beth uh, uh i ran out of ideas on this incident uh, uh this is about helping uh joey to log into signal claims application uh can you help me in resolving this incident please okay so now beth has joined the conversation now i would like to uh, impersonate beth and and see the story from her side so yeah here is all the ongoing sidebar conversations so let me yeah this is the one uh, so maximize so there might be multiple ongoing sidebar chats for beth as well so now beth is here and she sees there is a lot of conversation that has been happening between the agent uh, and the employee so obviously uh, uh, without now assist she has to go through the entire conversation to understand what is what but but with with now assist chat, uh, a sidebar chat summarization we have the quick action and here i can do uh, a summarize button i'll click on this and hopefully now elegan will give me a proper summary so it says the issue is the employee is unable to log into this application and and the solution provided is to clear the browser cache and also to follow a kb article but the issue remains unresolved so so quickly beth is able to understand what is the exact problem the problem is with signal claims and and they have been asked to do a couple of steps but nothing has really helped the employee so at this point because beth being an sme into into some of these applications she knows that signal claims application needs a uh, employee to to kind of log into their cloud vpn first so she is going to suggest that uh, hey david uh, would you ask the employee uh, to log in the cloud vpn uh, and and 
baik login tiba application okay. so she she suggested uh, something to David and and let's assume that this kind of worked. Uh, I'm going back to this uh, uh, David screen here out and and I'll just say Joey uh, uh, can you try to log in with a VPN and retry logging into the application. And let me uh, impersonate back to the employee here. And and let's let's say like Joey kind of tried this and it really helped uh, uh, solve the issue. He's able to log into it. So you might just come back and say, "Hey, I'm able to log in to the application after I uh, 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 log in my cloud VPN." Thanks for all help. So now we kind of uh, figured out the problem and whatever uh, uh, David suggested, Joey followed and it, it resolved the incident. So obviously the next step is to uh, say the issue is resolved because uh, uh, now Joey is able to log into the instance. So, so now uh, what I will do, I'll click on resolve. So this again generates the resolution nodes. Uh, if, it, if it's not generating the resolution nodes here, you can still use uh, the summarize button that would give you the steps that are that is followed by the employee and yeah so you can see the resolution it's all automatically generated by uh, the sidebar chat summarization ideally it should have also been generated generated when i click on resolve uh, i don't know why it didn't resolve uh, but but because i have sidebar chat summarization i'm just trying to use this so now i have documented what exactly happened and how did i how how did I resolve the issue? So now uh, I click, I just click on resolve. I select uh, solution provider. I click on resolve. So next time when a similar incident comes up again, so now whoever is working on that incident, instead of kind of going back and asking Beth to help, they can see the resolution notes of this incident, and they'll be able to suggest the similar uh, solution for their employee. So this way we are we are we are solving two problems here. One is like. Uh, the, the the peers of the SMEs who have been dragged into the conversations, they're able to summarize the chat uh, uh, on demand uh, instead of going through all the conversation. And you can also use this summarize the chat to share it onto the work notes. And you can also kind of copy this and put it onto your resolution notes for future reference. And it's not just for SMEs. Sometimes a chat might go uh, for, for, for multiple days. And then instead of going to the conversation, the employee or even the agent can quickly refresh their memory by, by just clicking on the summarize and sharing it onto the work notes. So if even if they reassign the incident, the next agent will be able to make use of this feature to bring them up to speed without wasting a lot of time. That way we are increasing the agent productivity and bringing down the MTTR. So that's the demo. Thank you and, and happy to answer any questions. Thanks, Shikar. Could you also just quickly show the uh, configuration of the scale too? Oh yeah, sure, absolutely. Uh, let me impersonate system administrator. So we have seen how the feature works. Now I want to get into as an admin, how do you set up this up, set, uh, do the setup? So I'll directly go to the admin console. So I'm, I'm assuming uh, that you have already installed the required plugins. I'm not showing the plugin installation part, but I'm showing the steps that needs to be taken after installing the plugin. So I'm getting into a uh, Novasist admin console. I'm getting into Novasist features tab here. And here you can find a bunch of products. Uh, uh, get into technology tab and make sure you select ITSM in the dropdown. And here we have a bunch of skills that we ship out of the box. And, and, and for the two days demo, we used sidebar discussion summarization, which comes under chat. You click on this, that will open up this page. And here 
uh, again click on sidebar chats, uh, sidebar discussion summarization. Out of the box, all the skills will be inactive uh, because I already done the demo, they're all active here. Uh, but when you open this, uh, here you need to choose your trigger. So the quick action, the one that I just showed uh, within the chat, I can have a single quick action. That is what we call as a quick action. This is the only trigger we support at least uh, as of today. So this is something you have to turn on. And then uh, as you have seen, the summary is coming as a bulleted list uh, because I kind of uh, 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 turned this toggle. If I turn off this toggle, it, it just comes as a paragraph. So it's up to the, uh, the customer preference. And let's say if I make the, the selections here, I click save and continue. The next step is choosing tables. So on what all tables do you want to uh, 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 kind of uh, expose uh, uh, this particular skill? So we, we give you all the different tables that are relevant to the ITSM and that comes out of the box. Uh, uh, but of these tables, you can also uh, select or deselect any of the tables. Like let, maybe I also want this to be on change face table, uh, which you're not selecting out of the box. You can just click on this checkbox and you can make the selection. So we ship total of 15 tables, uh, but let's say there is a, a, a custom table that you have created and, and there is a use case where you want to turn on the skill. So then you have to go into the config file and then in the config file as an admin, you have an ability to add a new table. So it's a comma separated list. You can add your table name and then that will automatically come up on the screen. However, the prerequisite is that table should support uh, a, a sidebar, a discussion in the first. Can you still with us, Shrieker? All right, I think we might have lost Shrieker. So let me ping him real quick. See if we can get him back online. Yep, we definitely lost him. <laughs> All right. Um, let's take a look at the Q and A, see if we have any questions in the meantime. Oh, actually I see Shrieker back. Can you hear me Shrieker? Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we lost you there for a second. Um, okay, uh, let me share my screen. Uh, so at what part did I cut off? Uh, uh, you're still at the choose tables screen. Okay, okay. Yeah, you cool. just talked about having the prerequisite of um, the table supporting a sidebar chat. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, so so just to again repeat myself, so we we ship fifteen tables. Uh, we will uh, we show fifteen tables on this list view, and you can simply uh, use this checkbox to activate the skill in any of the table. But in case if you have other tables where you want to expose the skill, make sure that the table kind of supports a sidebar discussion. And then there is a config file where we show a, a, a comma separated list of all these tables. As an admin, you can go and add the, the, the new table that you want to add and the new table will show up on this list and make sure you kind of enable that uh, the checkbox uh, adjacent to that particular table name. So once you do that, you click on save and continue. The next thing is select display. So if you have seen other skills, we, we support it in product and some skills are also supported on the now assist panel, but this sidebar chat summarization is only supported in product. So you have to make sure this, this is toggled on whenever you're activating the skill. Uh, once you have made all those things here, we will just show you the triggers that you have selected, the tables that you have selected. Uh, uh, so you will, you will see a button to uh, activate the skill because you have already activated it you no longer seeing the button to activate. You can also click on this, explain this, where we will uh, give you more details or we'll take you to that uh, documentation where we have kind of elaborate explanation on how how, how this skill works and what are the different uh, uh, configuration that, that you can do as an admin. 
so yeah this is this is a quick uh, skill setup uh, uh anything else brian do you want me to cover or any questions that uh, we do have a question i'm not 100 sure if this is related to cyber but let's take it live so what config files need to be updated to add or enable summarization uh, uh so basically it depends upon the skill config uh let me see if i can and Shika, while you're pulling that up i i would say that and Brian, keep me honest, uh, there is no config files that need to be updated or enabled. And perhaps maybe you can elaborate on your question. Um, but I think you did follow up with custom tables. So uh, I'll just phrase it this way, out of the box, incident summarization, chat summarization, all of these work just by going through the administration experience that, we can, that we've shown in, in previous webinars. Um, if you have customizations, that is something that we're actively putting together content to help support uh, go live. So if you if you fall into the category of you you've done customizations and you would like them incorporated for summarization, you can actually do that by by configuring the experience to point to a custom table. Uh, so. What I will say is just to wrap this up is if you wanted to elaborate or maybe ask us directly in chat, we can, we can continue the conversation there. Um, otherwise, please feel free to um, um, to ask additional follow-up.